Welcome everyone to our live stream here on Lee Chess and Twitch. <clears throat> Sorry, I lost my voice for some reason. Really weird. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. That would be bad if we lose the voice. All right. <clears throat> so it sounds a little bit more normal. No echo. Welcome, guys, to our bonus stream, Streamers Mega Battle. What a range of ratings. What's that, Astrobate? I just linked the tournament that Schieberspieler is playing. He's a second seed in, a, in an open and um, needs to win the last round against an old an old I am which he should be who he should be especially with white um, to at least tie for first probably hopefully his tie break is <clears throat> is good enough to win win the tournament if he beats the old guy so good luck to him welcome everybody to our streamer mega battle Mr. Sohan, finally, don't expect a good result. You're in, finally. <clears throat> just, if you're going to be in, you know, try not to just play a couple games and leave. Because it's a arena battle. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. Actually, play as many games as you want. We have enough players, I think. I hope. Because 15 people have to count. So that's the problem. If someone drops out, it could hurt us. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Actually, let's see how many players we have. Maybe we have enough that it doesn't matter. Yeah, we have a lot. We have 17. All right. As long as we're over 15. But you guys check and see <clears throat> there's 15 players playing. If someone's going to drop out. Heinichburger, we're about to start in five minutes. I wanted to say that our, our team hero, Captain Schieberspieler, is not here. Um... But uh, but his result in the weekend tournament, he has to beat an old I am to win it. And he'll be closing in on my rating. Anyway, <clears throat> so Schieberspieler can't play. It looks like... Um, it looks like BB Chess didn't really like the tournament last time. I'm not sure he's in. Baby Chess. So we've got a solid but not highly rated tournament. Uh, featuring myself, Aldisto, Oms. None of us are really high rated. DK guy, Vichy the player, but all very solid. So I think it's not bad. It's actually like no stars, but um, but everyone's like 2,000, 2,200. And I think a bunch of us are underrated. Mule Skinner, uh, Mr. Slow, Rossador, <clears throat> Someone on Sound. Dinakis. So we've got like five or six kind of sneaky guys that are capable of playing well better than, than the ratings. Heinichberger, thanks for joining. It's a tough decision. Um, all right, guys, let's just stay out of the basement. You know, I don't have, uh, we don't have finances to, uh, to collect the greatest grandmasters and blitz class players from all over the internet, but we have a strong community here. And our team is made up of truly members of the community from, from the stream. So we don't have to win it, but I want to have a respectable result. Good luck to everybody. Good luck to Schieberspieler. He started his last round exactly as we're beginning um, the tournament here at 3 p.m. CEST. That's why he can't play. Gobix is not here, so we don't have a lot of support. <clears throat> Better every week, right? Well, we had a little step back last week. The move to Sundays didn't help our strength. We lost Gobix and we lost Gobix and and Schieberspieler because they're active tournament players. So the team's a little weaker without those guys. Well, a lot weaker without those guys. Gobix is capable of generating 100 points. Um, but also notice that Pop G doesn't seem to be in here in Tranquilizer's team. So I think the Sundays is going to hurt everybody. It's going to lower the level of the of the. The strength of the tournament. More and more, more and more countries are having tournaments again, as the pandemic is under control in some countries, uh, like my birth country. <clears throat> but um, I don't know. I mean, a weekday might be better ultimately for the tournament to be stronger. On the other hand, maybe more like club class players, you know, average amateurs can play on the weekend. So it's a tough call. 
It's a tough call. Levine Le Levich is, uh, I mean, Leon Levich is playing. A um, couple of IMs. It doesn't look like a lot of GMs or anything like that. What place are we aiming for? Let's get, I mean, I would like to land in the top half of the cross table. Fourth would be a good goal, I think. I think we're capable of that. We're starting in three minutes. Um, I haven't really warmed up. I warmed up with a 20 minute training game today. It's not ideal for a 3 0. Well, oh, Gobbix played Magnus yesterday. That's awesome. Should I. Should I have reason? I assume he lost because you would probably say Gobbix beat Magnus yesterday or Gobbix drew with Magnus yesterday. But I mean, yeah, he is like the greatest chess player in the world. Just getting to play him, as I can attest, is a is a great honor. Um, <clears throat> sorry, we don't have Gobbix today. Though you never know who might drop in. But again, like there's weekend tournaments going on. I don't know about anything here though. This weekend. Somewhere in the top 10. All right, guys. Just getting to play to your health, school. Just getting to play Magnus is a good sign that you're doing well in the tournament, I think. Getting paired with Magnus means you're pretty effing competitive. That's what it means. <clears throat> Result is not important. All right, guys. Good luck. Good luck to my friends, the Mercitza, Merchicha, and, and the Tranquilizers. Got us involved with this thing in the first place. So I I consider those those guys my, my favorite competitors in the event. All right. <clears throat> so I try to, I try to um, raid um, Merchea and, and uh, Levante when I can. So if I'm not streaming, I recommend their streams to you by the Levante and the Tranquilizers and Merchicha and friends. All right, guys, we're starting in one minute. International Master William Pascal, we're streaming the streamer mega battle here on Lee Chess and Twitch with Ponda and the Ponda and friends, Ponda and horses team. I yes to welcome. Feel free to join the club. You're probably in the team, but you haven't been around much. I saw you. I saw you the other day. Yeah, but it's not as strong as it's been in the past, Summon on Sound, because I think, you know, people like the X-Team captain are not here. Pop Jula is not here. Gobbix is not here. Um, weekends are going to mean, as the, as the pandemic slows down in some places, there's going to be more real over-the-board chess. It's going to make it a little not as scary. But this is not an exclusive tournament. I mean, it's meant for everybody. <clears throat> so, enjoy. Hopefully I won't get flag too much let's get started guys please support the stream and donate if you can feel free but don't lose on time trying to send a donation master time hmm from montenegro okay i thought this might be some not an fm i'm not familiar i thought it might be an american player who i know no thinking, just move. The Willie Hendricks book makes a lot of sense here. Wow, quiet response. Master Time or Time Master? 
That's the question. Very high rated bullet player. Man, he's like psychic or something. He plays a subtle game based on, you know, for a bullet player. Did I play him? I haven't played him before. Wow. Is this a good move? Maybe not. Is it a bad move? Maybe. Clearly just too fast for me. Congratulations. Fantastically fast mouse player. Alright. Congratulations on your mouse. Nice job. What was that?
getting some weird hate mail from some random person in my messages. That's weird. Net Smiley. Let me guess. New account. I feel like we played this this before. That's weird. I played someone who played the exact same thing against me recently. It's just every player I'm going to get is going to be like a bullet player who just moves instantly. Nah, I seriously blundered. Net smiley. This is just... Totally random. Who is this? This is unbelievable. How many games does it have? 400 games, 292. It feels like playing an engine. But then it makes second rate moves once in a while. It's kind of low rated for Man, I don't know about this account. This account seems really, really dubious. All right. What is this account, dude? Seriously. Twenty-two oh six. Right. All right, I want to know why I'm getting some some weird hate mail from some random account here. Who is this? Whatever. Alright, let's try to get back. Can I 
ban that person for sending me messages? We lost two games already. 2200s who play like Grandmasters. I've got zero points. Then I play a 1500. First, I was holding my own. Then I was outplayed by a 2200, like he was a GM. Now I'm playing a 1500. With zero points out of two, while getting hate mail from random people. Two gat, one, two, three. It's a little hard to read chat when I'm playing three zero, dude. Sorry. I'm already losing on time. I don't know if you're watching the stream, but I'm just losing on time to everyone I play. And then you want me to read the chat. Not really the right stream to be chatting. I don't even play three plus zero. Sorry, I can't chat with you now. I'm losing on time every game as it is. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. Like 1500s will beat me on time. My last game was very, very bad. First game was okay, but too slow. Even this 1500 seems reasonable. That guy was, he was really welcome. He didn't get attention, so immediately he's a hater. He'll be missed. Bishop h4. He must have just discovered Lee Chess. Coming over from the wonderful chess site. All right. Damn, you timed him out. That was kind of light. Does that really qualify as railing people? Telling him I don't have time to chat with him? What an atmosphere we have here for the streamer battle. This guy's a pretty dangerous 1500. It's like acerbate or worse. <laughs> Thank God the tournament isn't raided. I've got hate mail and a troll so far. And lost two games. This is getting a little concerning, I think, at this point. What the. What the. Eh. What the eck? Wow. I don't even know what to say about this guy. Gink Goa. So he's from Goa. He finished 1400. What? Pre-moved.
he managed to create like pretty maximum confusion. Incredible game for someone who's 1400. All right. Very bad start. We're in eighth place. No thanks to me. Buchok's playing. Wow. Buchok's gonna save us. It looks like. Thanks for playing, Peter. So, we have one good player that was not expected. One of my friends from Hungary, Fide Master Buchok. So, an another good good guy here. I'm, I'm one out of three, and I've got a 2300. Damn, I was hoping for some easy pairings. Buchok with 10 points already. Played this guy before, he's super fast. But that seems to be the trend. Five to B five or not to B five. This is kind of a weird move, but interesting. Provoking B four. I could have played Bishop C five there. Better late than never. quite sure what I'm doing. I think I played some second raid moves. Safe to say. Safe to say we made some second raid moves. Um, this time control is not comfortable for me. I, I normally don't play 3-0, so I don't have time for chat. Now he picks up this exchange of pieces, which I missed, of course. Where to go? This guy's 1900 in bullet and 2278 in blitz. How would that even be possible? That's crazy. If nothing else, he's fast. Not so bad either. Damn it. Missed this move. It's very awkward. that dude's extremely fast wow look at this resource
how could this guy possibly be 1900 in, in bullet when his whole game is based on speed? This player can't be 1900 in bullet. I mean, that's just flat out impossible. I mean, that's that's just ridiculous, dude. Then it's a different player. You couldn't possibly be 1900 in bullet and play that fast. I mean, that's crazy. How could he be 2300 in Blitz and 1900 in Bullet? Just ridiculous. I must have really bad lag or something. Couldn't even make, couldn't even make moves. Twitch won't load, it's a disaster. No, but I mean, how can that guy be 1900 in Bullet? His entire game is based around winning on time. And he's 300 points slower in bullet than he is in blitz. That's totally bogus. It's just like cheating or something. I mean, there's no way he could be a 1900 bullet player. Someone else playing on his account who's good at bullet then. This guy's just playing fast too. But not... Not as strong, I guess. He's just trying to play fast without any ideas. The last guy was legitimately like a 2200 player. I guess. My problem is that he could not physically be 1900 in bullet. There'd be no way he could have that rating and be that good at playing quickly. There's something super sketchy about that. Wow, tactics. I just don't like when I see blatant inconsistency, inconsistency with people's ratings, you know. The last guy, extremely fast, would easily be 2300 in bullet, and he's like 1900. Is that so they can manipulate the like arena system and get easier pairings or something? You like purposely make yourself, purposely make yourself 300 points lower rating wise, so you can exploit the system? That's rating manipulation. I know people who are innocent of that who get accused. This guy's like selling off his whole position to play fast. Because the last guy was legitimately a pretty strong player. Well, he obviously doesn't care. I guess, Jim, I mean, you play a lot of bullet, so you would know, but he seems to care now.
I have no clue what's going on here. I think I just screwed up my position. Nineteen thirty and ultra bullet, right? Does that mean he's like super strong? I have no clue. Yeah, I would say it's pretty unusual. I think his bullet rating is is totally bullshit. It's like sandbagging your bullet rating on purpose. Very easy to do. All right, so what am I doing here? Bishop takes f7. <laughs> this guy's crazy fast too. It's like a sickness. That's fine. It's hard to win a, a game. We're in 8th place, guys, but we're really close to 7. Buchok, thanks for playing. 2nd place is a me boy. Very good result, 14 points. WIM is leading the Cookie Monsters. Hanischberger has the 3rd most points on our team. No, I think that the guy, the guy is sandbagging his rating. He has 2447. He was literally resigning multiple games for four moves two days ago, sandbagging. Yeah, that's what I figured. It's very, it's very bad. Very unsportsmanlike. You should get your, your account labeled for that. I know people who are, who are accused of that, that didn't even do it, you know? And they had to like close their accounts. It's really, really unsportsmanlike. If you even fluctuate by like a hundred points, you can get labeled for being a rating, a rating exploitationist. But you got a nineteen hundred who should be twenty four hundred in bullet. That's just disgusting. Pikachu master, quick. I should have gone with the other rook there, it looks like. Yeah, 300, 400 points. That's that's blatant rating manipulation. Anyway, I'm not going to dwell on it, but... I don't think I've ever had to report someone for rating manipulation. In all the time, the years that I've been on Lee Chess, it was never really an issue. But if it's going to be that blatant, you know whatever normally it's like whatever but it's not fair if that guy's like playing in tournaments rated 1900 in like a bullet tournament i mean he's so fast i couldn't even like clean off the pawns to get a draw he could pre-move so fast all right guys hopefully with Buchok and I, we can avoid last place. Hanischberger, you're you're in third place for the team. I love this guy's name, by the way. You gotta love the the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Zombie Chainsaw. Awesome name. I'm going back to my to my old. What about Queen C7? The zombie chainsaw massacre. How about C4? Pop the center. Popcorn. Well, DK, if if you do, you know, if you do wanna. Mention something like that. We should probably not discuss it here. 
Um, all right. But that's the first that, that I've heard of that. Seventh place, thanks to Han Eichberger. This guy's pretty good, I have to say. But 1930, 1700 bullet. That seems about normal. He's playing quite a solid positional style game. All right, I'm freaking slow. The Zombie Chainsaw Massacre. Rob Zombie. I hope this tactics works. This tactics. I hope this tactics works. This tactics and other tactics. Seventh place isn't too bad. I just, you know, don't want to vent about it continuously, but I just don't appreciate playing people who are, like, way sandbagging. Okay, so this move is trouble. 91, might be 8. I thought I had Rook here, but that's troublesome, too. Holy crap. So what's going on? Man, I don't know. I'm like equalizing. It's kind of messed up, man. It's a good 1900. Wow. So I equalized. Maybe I can beat him in the end game. What a combination. Dude, this guy is seriously good. It's probably a draw. Like, objectively. Damn, dude, 1960 blitz, 1700 bullet. That was all it took. I mean, it's probably a draw. Maybe in the final position. Maybe he got his night trap, but really good. That was a crazy, crazy game. I just don't have time to play properly.
Now it's like equal. Similar to the other game I had earlier though, hard to play this kind of closed position. Very little time. I got stuck with that hanging pawns, um, playing against the, a structure I didn't like in the earlier game, like the first round. This is a little freer. Freer and easier to play. It's still not so simple, frankly. Now with more nuts. <sighs> Playing our boringest, boringest style here. I guess I should have taken on e4. Put his rook on a bad square. He's got serious hanging, hanging pawn problems. Probably defensible, but White has to be really aware of what he's doing. Now he's got some issues. The back rank tactic, two pawns up. One pawn's not a big deal, but two pawns is pretty serious. Pawns is. Still not easy. What did I just do? Oh my god. That wasn't the best move. So I just hung one of my pawns. Hung two pawns. Hung one pawn. And now he can draw. I probably should take with a pawn there. Give up another pawn. Holy crap. Whoa. He doesn't have to break f4. Well, he has it, but it's a little bit late now. Man, nice game. All right, I did it to myself. I didn't even calculate what would happen if the rooks got traded. Wow, Diana's darlings 
out of nowhere, just crushing the tournament. Out of nowhere. They, they, they didn't have a lot of high rank players. I just hung a rook. I mean, I just exchanged rooks into a lost king and pawn end game for no apparent reason. We got it nine seconds left. And I just sort of went on autopilot. But I deserve to lose. You gotta calculate king and pawn in games, obviously. Really bad. Alright, this doesn't look right for white. I was better the whole game. I mean, that's not the first game I lost today. <laughs> Where I was just better the whole game. Of course. It's weird, I don't know. I just sort of hallucinated. I just was like, oh, he can never trade rooks. You know? Strange assumption to make. But we're doing badly. No thanks to me. Nefidov, no. He offered a draw. I mean, white's worse. Lost. Was worse, now lost. Well, it's not lost against me, though, in this time control. Man, we're lucky we have Buchok. I'm playing badly. No Schieberspieler. He's playing in a tournament. Trying to win it. He was the second seed, though. A weak tournament. Schieberspieler. Playing for first place. Alright. I want to win this pawn. I want to win the game. No. White is in trouble. But maybe not losing immediately. Alright, maybe. Aru and my streak starter. How are we doing? How am I doing? Am I even in the contest? I wish it was easier to see how many points you had. Is that me? Castle bit? I'm looking at the wrong team. Where am I? Damn, where am I? I don't even know how many points I have. We lost like three games at least. Terrible at this time control. It's embarrassing. It's not like riding a bike. That's the best move. Queen d7 in some positions. I'm sure this is ideal circumstances. I'm number 9 in the team. That's awesome. Crushing it. Jesus. That's like my worst result ever. Who is this guy? He's pretty tricky. He knows what he's doing here. He's completely got a legit opening now from this trashy bad Dutch. He knows exactly what he's doing. One of the first people I've faced like ever who knew what they're doing here. No, he's gonna sack the exchange. Mr. Materialist. Queen d2 is marginal. Even now he has pretty good compensation. But it wasn't necessary to sack the exchange, obviously. <sighs> this is more painful than the the all-star arena. Sometimes I play pretty well. It, it just depends. I don't know. It's funny. I haven't had any berserks either. That was my problem last time. Kept getting berserked. We haven't had any berserks. 
I'm just flat out getting flagged in the straight up 3-3-0-3-0. Well, give me that bishop. He's like one of the first people who actually played the system pretty well against me. Like he knew what he was doing. Most people have a lost position in like five moves. Timur Gareyev, I think I saw had, he was like a specialist in weird openings. He had the interesting game in this line. King and pawn in game, draw. <laughs> Queen f6 is a draw. After the last game, when I just went into a lost king and pawn game, it's pretty sad. How's this? This is more dynamic king and pawn game. All right. Now nah, he's going to lose. Opening good by black. I don't think it's a reliable variation, but I must have made some kind of serious mistake in the early going there. I thought this was going to be easy. He found a way to put up some resistance. Resistance put up. Always trade. Is my rook trapped? Oh my god, it's trapped. Next move. I almost did it. Managed to fall for that. It's incredible. Incredible edible. Take another one. I'm so slow, it's just sick. Let's test my king and pawn game understanding now. This one's better than the other one. No. I'm a little too fast. I really need to turn on Auto Queen. I'm sure someone has mentioned this. He tricked me. I almost screwed that up. I really ought to turn on the Auto Queen. The problem is that it cost me a game in, in one of the Rapid games. I actually needed to promote a knight recently, and I didn't do it. If Auto Queen had been, you know, without the Auto Queen on, I could I could think about it. I should have seen it. If I turn on Auto Queen, I'll forget to turn it off. 240, we're in seventh place. We're two points behind the other guys. Come on, guys, at least seventh. We got to repeat last week. We finally got a berserk. How can they pre-move when you don't, they don't know what you're going to play? Oh, this is funny. We looked at this with someone on sound. 
More aggressive. Aggressive. More aggressive. Now with more aggressive. Boris Grachev. So we let him keep the pawn? Whatever. I let him get away with murder here. I should have taken the pawn on e4. <laughs> this is pretty bad. Totally horrible. Nice move. Kind of a positional player to be berserking against me. Bishop f8, pretty questionable. Whatever. <laughs> he saw my threat. Rook d2. But some people just berserk, and that's fine. I don't take it as an insult. Part of the game. He's a stubborn defender. I don't like the strategy of berserking as higher rated players, though. I'm not sure that's a good idea, objectively. I guess with slow sloth like players like myself. Against certain sloths, it makes sense. I guess I should try to win a piece there. <laughs> I can't even see when pieces are hanging. All right, Butchuk has 29. Oh, yesterday with 22, thanks for playing. Vichy the player, 22. Hanish Berger is gonna get in trouble. He has 20. I'm at 18. Come on, I need some easy pairings. No whammies, easy pairings. I should start berserking, but I'm too slow. I could berserk in five, but I can't berserk in three minutes. Psychic network. I knew he was going to play CD4 there. You see my my amazing. I know somebody who plays this actually. My amazing technique. Am I just winning a pawn? Hmm. Yeah. I was just winning a pawn there. And he takes D5. Duh. Now it's not that bad. Go for two Bs. Not that clear. Disconnecting while berserking. A disburp. Disburk. Disburk. Not clear what that's called. A pity to exchange this off, but what am I gonna do? This guy's pretty good. I have e4 though. Ooh, e5 is tempting. E5 is really tempting.
kind of a funny move. Wait, faked you out. So which way do we take with the bishop? Nice. The queen d five is over. We're in sixth place. The, the the gap is huge. The chessboard community has a lot of weird players. No titles. It's like the untitled team. No, I got an FM. Actually, I shouldn't. We've got a couple title players. Butchuk and myself. Black resigned. Yes. That's the best. That's what I used to do against a certain player I, I couldn't stand. I love the free wins. I'm in what place? 40th place. That's like my worst, worst result ever. But we're starting to come around now. I need more easy pairings. 30 minutes left. Two thirds of the way through. And I get Vita Albert. Good player. Why do I have to get Albert? Why can't I get another 1500? Why do I have to play the London system? God damn it, Jerry. This is Levente's older brother. He's an I am. Strong I am. Well, at least when I played him, he was solid. 2450. That was a long time ago. I think we played in 2004. He was beating me, but then he made an unnecessary sacrifice. I remember that game a little bit. It's funny because I don't remember all my games, just some. Not sure about this. Should I play like knight d4? Knight d4, knight c2? Now the, the c5, d4 is a threat, and there's other threats. <laughs> I've used this basic formula before. Mr. Coffee, that's a terrible joke. First of all, we're too old. Nobody knows who Fat Albert is anymore. Plus, Bill Cosby is a taboo subject. But I make Bill Cosby jokes. So I guess I guess we'll let it ride. I'm always occasionally busting out the Bill Cosby stand up jokes. So what are we doing here? But nobody remembers Fat Albert. Or Europeans would have no clue what the hell we're talking about. It was definitely not a European show. Albert? All right. What do I do now? I don't even have a clue how I'm supposed to play this position. G4? You know, he's like rehearsing something he's played before. He's very solid here. G4 might be too much. Fat Albert was big. It was a cartoon. It was a, it was an animation with Bill Cosby for kids. Now we got serious trouble.
wish I had a dollar for every time someone has done this kind of sacrifice against me. Very prevalent in these Londons. The sack on d3 may not be that clear, but that's a pain. Wang yet? Wow, another pawn. Nice. If I hadn't hung that F pawn, I think I might be kind of optimistic about this. Everybody hates me. This is lost. Ah, I screwed up. Good game, man. All right. Even players who are older than me are... Maybe he's not older than me. He's about the same age. Even semi-retired players are faster than me. I think I was alright there if I don't hang my F-pawn. Seriously, I'm probably okay after everything was said and done. But he was so heads up to grab that... To grab the extra pawn along the way, you know, it's, oh, okay, he'll take the exchange back, no problem. Then I get another London system the very next game, after my streak starter is ruined. Uncle Potato, he'll probably be like 2,700. Seriously, another London system? I just want to vomit. Man, original. He's a vacuum cleaner. Not a lot of, you know, 1800 players on Lee Chess try to trade all the queens off against threat title players. That's kind of unusual. She has a lot of confidence in one's, in one's endgame. And now this move? What? Wow. Uncle Potato? He's gonna sack on d6. Just like last game, I'm just kidding, but it's kind of symbolic. <laughs> Strangely symbolic. Uncle Potato's 1800, okay. I just blundered. Maybe it's 1800. The sack could happen again there. I was winning a clear pawn. Wow. Uncle Potato. I see. He's the human vacuum. And way better than 1800, except for that pawn drop he did earlier. Insanely fast. Are you serious? This is an 1800. He must be on the Vlad team or something. This guy's 1800. With endgame technique, like a Grandmaster. Whoa. I'm just completely outplayed. Even that subtlety. Kind of brutal. 
I don't know about this guy. He did bl he did blunder a pawn in one move. He's supposed to be 1700 in bullet, 1800 in blitz. But he's freaking good. Are you even serious? What? He's got the seriously fishy rating going on. You're 1800 with 1700 in bullet. Yeah, that looks believable. And now he's actually winning. This guy is like a master or something else. No, he hung a pawn at one point. He just dropped a pawn on a tactic. I guess that's more realistic that way. But I'd like to know whose team this is on. I mean, seriously. What is this? Wait, wait, let's stop the tournament. What is this guy I just played? Was that like a perfect game except for one one tactical mistake? I never lost like that against an 1800. Let's check this out. So the count's been around for a while. He actually has 12 wins, 12 losses today and lost. He lost 192 rating points today. Just 192. He lost 192 rating points today. Sorry? Wait. How would this guy lose 192 rating points? Today. That wasn't the guy I played. I think losing 192 points in one day is probably rating manipulation. What? Why can't I see this game, dude? He made one tactical mistake the whole game. He used nine seconds for the first 15 moves. See, that was the one moment where he made an error. But other than that, it's like a computer. There for a minute, after knight c4, he hung a pawn. I blundered. I had d takes c, just winning on the spot. But other than that, he played like a really good game. Anyway, fortunately, it's not rated. No, queen e4 was a really weird move, dude. Totally suspicious, honestly. If that's like the number one choice of the engine, I would I would be highly suspect. No, it's not just you, Mr. Profi. 
people who are rated 1800 don't stick around with moves like that to keep the tension when they're going to trade queens they either trade queens or they don't um that's that's a highly suspicious move of course but he can defend himself by saying he made a he made a tactical blunder at one point so Diana's Darlings, I don't even know how they have five. I don't think anyone's ever had 500 points before. Everybody on that team has 500 points. Everybody on the team has like 30 points or better. That's impossible, dude. Yeah, it looks like an engine, the last game, most likely. Just inserting a mistake or two to make it look more believable. <laughs> Well, or, you know, it's a master playing on an 1800s account. That's the other possibility. I haven't played this player before. He's just ignoring b5, which is a bit strange. I haven't run in any engines lately. Or had to report anyone in a long time. Lee Chess does a pretty good job, but nevertheless, I mean, you know, ratings ratings are there for a reason you know you don't just wake up one day and you're playing like a master this is a really strange way to play this this position he's blockading the queen side i've never seen anyone do that in a four pawns attack before this is probably a big mistake I have a pretty awful position here, except for the protected pass pawn on c3, which is a big asset. It might be enough to justify the rest of my horrible position. With a player with a common sense not to trade queens. Wow. Crazy game. Nice tactic. Okay, everyone who's in India is like, 300 points underrated. That I've come to expect. But he's not fast enough to be berserking. He's just like legit underrated. A little bit. But again, he shouldn't be berserking. At least not against a stronger player. Just seems like a waste of time. Diana Starlings with an unbelievable score. Tranquilizer second. We're in sixth place. Thanks to Buchuk. Not not thanks to me. But I mean, me boy having a good tournament. I'm up to 28. Maybe I can get 30 points. I need to play more 3-0. I'm playing the same guy again.
Guys, we have another stream tonight. Our normal stream. Simul stream at 6.30 CEST. This is just an appetizer. Please subscribe and support the stream if you can. We'll have more time to talk tonight. Yeah, we have a stream tonight and a Monday stream. <laughs> we got everything. No problem at all. This week, there's a Monday stream. Next week, I'm going to Eger for, for a week. But this week, we're, we're, we're normal. Normal schedule. This is exactly the game I had with... It's like exactly the same game I had with Mr. Slow. Mr. Slow did not drop his D4 pawn. So again... Everybody's playing ridiculously too fast. Just not thinking. And I see his C5 pawn is hanging as well. I'm even guilty. I could have taken on C5. Still, we're, we're just winning here. Maybe not the best plan. He's trying to set up like knight e4. But man, I just can't believe how bad my play and everybody's play is in this time control. It's just atrocious. Bishop d4 check, king moves knight e3. That's a good practical try by white. But it shouldn't be enough. So the simul's tonight. Why do you guys all think that there's no simul? I just said there's a simul. Holy crap. I gotta take on C3. Yeah, I even have that. Oh my god. What a disaster. Probably is a draw. Of course, he's like an 1800 player from India. How do I mate him? There's no way I can mate him. I'm going to get perpetual. I can even lose. My c6 pawn is weak. I might even be worse, objectively. Like, I have no winning chances. He does. I'm lucky that I didn't get mated in one. We're in sixth place. Solid lead with six minutes. Six, six minutes left. Monats. Six monats. 
Dennis. We haven't played in like 15 years now. It was a long time ago. I only played with Dennis once. Yeah, my, my play is trash. Well, my opponents too. It's mutual. Pretty much mutual. Horrible chess going on. Sorry, Elric. But I think that's... Is this some kind of trick now? You're going to win a pawn? No. So simple. Normal position. But he goes back. Huh. So it's like a really strange transposition. If you play f5 here. It's really, really strange. This exact transposition. To what, you might ask? Another game I had eerily similar to this a while back. And I had an over-the-board game with a very, very similar position. How much time? Four minutes left in the tournament. Buchok leading the team. Hormoran came in to, to score 35. I am hopeless today. You were microscopically better in the previous game. That's that's more than microscopic. He's got that. Master had that move. He must break. Think Petrosian like thoughts. Very close. Don't I have this? It's not a funny joke, man. Tactical wizardry. Oh, that's just sick. That is just sick. What a way to go. What a way to go. Good game. All right. I get mated by Rook H5. That's amazing you can see that. I mean, in advance, going into the variation. I was happy enough to win a pawn. All right, so let's see what's happening there in that position. When I took on c5, I instigated this, this losing mating attack. I had knight f6 check instead. Ah, it's it's the second best move, knight at knight c5, dc5, but I have to play rook e6 here. I 
It's just funny I get mated. Queen takes. I didn't look at queen takes. Jaw dropping tactics. Oh well. Anyway, it was fun. I don't understand who's on the Diana's Darlings team. Uncle Potato, that's how they're they're in first place, dude. Uncle Potato scored 34 points, which isn't cool, by the way. Um, that's not cool about Uncle Potato being 1800. They have they have this guy. I, I'm not I'm not liking that. But um, we got to sixth place, guys. Great job with no help from me. What? No help from me. Butchuk scored 38. He kind of slowed down at the end. So, we're about to finish up, but I want to thank you guys for playing. We had a great list of players. Butchuk with 38. Vichy the player, fourth. I finished sixth. Really bad. Butchuk is a friend of mine from, from the All-Star Arena. Yeah, it's not cool when you have 1800s who are who are like playing like computers on your bottom your your 15th player. He's now been replaced though by another player. But that that's an interesting team they've got there. Um All right. Tranquilizer's third place. Mertzitsa and friends. They finished 8th. We did good, guys. I mean, we had a good turnout without um, no problem at all. Also, Mr. Slow, Hanischberger, everybody did well. Yevgeny, Aldisto, Cheesy Noob. So we have like a balanced team with good scores from everybody. We can't keep up with that. You know, they go and they collect like all these weird accounts from all over the internet. Um, but uh, whatever. We had fun. It's our community playing for the team. Tranquilizers managed to finish third. That's pretty good against those those funky teams in first and second. Goen Chess Trio, their fourth chessborn. They don't have a lot of title players, but a solid team as well. We finished fifth, sixth, sorry, sixth. Cookie Monsters, seventh. They're not that bad, and uh, and Marxitsa's team is not bad. The, the ninth team, of course, didn't have enough players, so they're out of commission. So there's nothing special about beating them, but still, 6th place, not bad. Thanks to Buchuk. Again, Cormoran came in and scored 35 points. Amiboid over his head there with 33, very good. Vichy the player, 31. Dineka scored 30. 29 from Ayeste, we got 29. I was really off today. DK guy, thanks for playing, 28. Astrobate got 28 points. Wow. Astrobate, dude. 28 points. Nice job. Astrobate got one point less than me. It's unbelievable. He's 1600. Dude, you're 1659. No, you're 1515. And I'm criticizing the other guy, the other team for having that 1800. But Astrobate doesn't play like an engine. You know, he just, he's like a anti-engine. He sneaks up on people. <laughs> Alright, man. Sometimes he can play like an engine. Cheesy noob. Aldisto, everybody did well. Hanischberger also, really good result for 1,500. Mr. Slow with 22. And uh, no problem at all with 22. You're also performing really well. So I'm the only one who did bad today, I think. Slowed down by Mr. Potato Head. Frozen Edge 666 is one. Hanish is in 15, yeah. No, I mean, I've played him a lot, and I agree. He's not a computer, but he's not 1500. <laughs> neither is Dinek is 1800, and um, and neither is uh, Astrobate's a little better than his level two. Thanks, guys. I gotta go. We're gonna be back in two hours with uh, we're gonna be back in two hours with another stream with a simul stream. I'm gonna get some rest and uh, come back fresh for the simul stream. Thanks for joining us. It was a fun event, even though I kind of suffered at the hands of 1800s, and I suck at three plus zero. Thanks to um, Buchuk for. Booing our team up without the Schieberspieler, um, that was very helpful for him to join us. So congratulations, Butchuk. Best score today. Second was Cormoran and, um, and Amiboid with a very good result, 33. Thanks, guys. I didn't even finish in the top three. Very bad. I will see you later. Thanks, guys, for playing.
we'll see you tonight for the simul stream <clears throat> uh 25 player simul 630 cest okay thanks everybody bye bye